Lazy Sunday afternoon. Right, today's Christmas decoration will be this lead figurine. Looks like more of an angel to me. Let's pull out the tab. Oh, that's not much of a tab, is it? Mind you, that works. This is just uh, an RGB cycling LED. Nothing fancy. Right, that can go there. That can go there. So I want to show off my linear feedback register to the world. Uh, look, one dot, two dots, 101, 1111. It's just fascinating stuff, but this isn't very linear. This is a NeoPixel circle. Not linear, more circular. So I need to get a line of WS2812Bs and I found this piece of plastic which I think will fit some NeoPixels on it. And uh, I bought this mini post bag here. It's very well wrapped uh, in a bag and then in a metallized pouch bag and on a reel and it comes with all the connectors and wires so that's excellent these are uh, WS2812s but then I discovered that right in the middle of the strip there's a solder join so excellent presentation packing and everything else but what's that horrible solder join doing in there and it even spaces these two pixels apart so that's naughty really. Uh, but it doesn't bother me that much because I think what I'll do is I'll unsolder these and I only want 32 of these so I'm actually going to cut it there. Yeah I really hate solder suckers but I don't have any wick so solder sucker it is. That didn't work so knife cut the solder. See if that works. Yeah, I should have cut this slightly off centre because the uh, pads I've got to solder to are now really tiny. So I'm going to have a job doing that, aren't I? Oh, I seem to have soldered to that capacitor. Oh dear. Right, well that was a little tricky, uh, but the question is, will this transfer to this to give me my linear feedback shift register. Right, slightly different pin arrangement for this. It's pause on the top, then signal, then ground. Let's try that. Oh, well it does, but it's going the wrong way. But actually the arrows are pointing that way, so that's probably the way you're meant to drive this. This is the first pixel. No, I couldn't solder that on the other end because uh, I'd be soldering to the output, wouldn't I? This is definitely the input. So it's just my code that uh, I've got back to front. Oh, well, that's fine. That's my linear line. That's only driving 16 of the LEDs at the moment, but that's because of the way I've written the code. But yeah, that's good. I think I'm going to stick that on there now. Well, that's interesting. The pads on the back are much bigger than the uh, solder pads on the top but of course you can't get to them because they've stuck the self-adhesive tape over them but uh, yeah that's interesting right that's going down on this plastic so yeah that's quite nice I quite like that these white dots though they do dazzle the camera a bit well that's better tip it up a bit and you get better contrast ratio now we can see the pseudo-random number sequences pouring out of the uh, start point of the shift register, which is there, that LED there. Out they come. Now, how quickly can I modify the code to get all 32 bits working? Hmm, let's have a look at it. Uh, that's weird, I just ran up Arduino. And this is pick. That was a bit of a Freudian slip, I think. Uh, well, I think I've taken it to 24 bits so far because I've got a shift register low, shift register medium, shift register high, but I'm going to need four of these 
shift edge low, low, medium, medium, high, and high. Let's do that. So four shift registers, uh, eight bits each for 32 bits. Now in setup, I've got to initialize these. So clear them all, high, medium, high, low, high, uh, low, medium, and low. And then you have to seed the LFSR with something. So I'm seeding it with uh, just a single one because if a linear feedback shift register has all zeros, it will only ever produce all zeros. So here's the 32-bit uh, shift. You shift the low byte first. Uh, it's a rotate actually in pick. You don't have a shift in the pick uh, instruction set. So you rotate the low byte. It rotates through the carry. So bit seven goes into carry and then carry goes into bit zero of the next one and the next one and the next one. There's the shift. Right, I think that's it. Project uh, quick build. It builds. Uh, select programmer pick kit two and program and see what happens. Right, single dot, two dots, two dots with a gap, four dots, two dots spaced out, two pairs, uh, four dots, row of seven or eight, and so it goes on. That works beautifully. I'm very pleased with that. I think I'm gonna to have to make a video about that. Cheerio.